Hello everyone, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do um, probably one of the most important things that you should probably learn how to do when it comes to a tout, and that is specifically converting VSQXs into USTs. The main issue with converting VSQXs into USTs is that when you hit import here, your only options are MIDIs and VSQs, not VSQX, uh, VSQX, sorry. Um, and so, like, that's one of the big issues because it's not technically compatible. However, people have released plugins, for example, I have an import VSQX. If you have something like SynthV, it also can convert um, VSQXs into USTs by just opening the VSQX in the software and then saying export to UST, but if you don't have that, like me, I only have like the basic trial version of Synthy, so I only have Eleanor Forte of all characters. <laughs> um, so I recommend using a, uh, looking up a VSQX converter uh, online. I remember Right now, my computer is iffy, mainly with the internet, so I'll see you guys when this problem gets resolved, because right now, things are not working. Come on. Yeah, no, it's not working. Alright, I'm back. I had to completely just switch over to a hotspot at this point. So the one that I downloaded was this one in particular. Um. And it's a plugin, by the way. So um, when you download this, I recommend looking up how to install plugins. Um, and uh, basically, it's a very, very good one. Uh, this person did not make it, but apparently they found it, and it works uh, very well with. Uh, V3 and V4 VSQXs. I currently do not know if there's any converter for VPR, which are a new file that was introduced, a new file type that was introduced with V5. Um, and I don't think there's really any converters for .sp5s or whatever the file that SynthV uses yet either, because it's still relatively new. Um, that stuff dropped maybe about last year. I don't remember. So it's it's not quite there yet for Tao, but we at least have our lovely, lovely um, import VSQX here. So, and the thing with this one is that it automatically plops it in for whichever uh, character you put in. So we're going to be downloading Singo. 3112s, uh, well, 312s, 312, whatever, they're uh, VSQ. I'm hoping it's a VSQX. If not, I will have to find a new one. So let's let this download real quick. And I'm trying to find one that is automatically. Um, Okay, so this is a VSQ, not a VSQX. So give me one moment while I try to find a VSQX. I'm currently trying to locate one that's in Japanese so that I don't have to like try to uh, do any Englishing to show off like capabilities or whatever. So, all right. So I just found one. I found Studio 305 by Kiaramil, and um, this is one that I kind of like. Um, at least it's in Japanese. And technically, the person does not know Japanese, but who cares? Who cares if it's off? So I'm going to be downloading this real quick. Might take a little bit. I'll see you guys when it's downloaded, because it's going to take a little bit. 
All right, we're back. It's finally downloaded. So let's go in here. Let's move this into tower projects. Gotta wait for that to load and move, of course. <sighs> so I'm just showing what's in here. So we have these parts here. So the big thing is when you, um, so first let's go into just Stratto, why not, just original Stratto, cause it's easy. So let's import the VSQX in, uh, so it will automatically add in all of the stuff that it has on the VSQ, which means all of this is in here. And the main way you can differentiate between like the different parts that you need to separate is usually they'll have a different tempo when it's time to like swap parts. So for example, um, like I just spotted a 300 right here. So you'd have to remove this, like this onwards, yet just the melody or whatever. However, you can technically add in every single one. I just recommend that if you do that, um, to be careful when you're mixing, because it's designed to be a certain way, and it's a little bit iffy. So, big thing is when you're working on this is that you need to make sure that it's set to modulation zero because when that modulation is like this instead you'll have something to be offbeat like well not offbeat but off key like this just gonna wait for it of course <laughs> Which absolutely sounds awful, and gotta save it real quick um, into this. So it's gonna take me a second while I do that. Sorry, my recording cut off uh, there because I was putting in capital letters, which I think goofed it up. So you need to make sure that it's mod zero, otherwise, you get that horrible sound. So let's just uh, check this section. As you can see, it sounds a lot better. Just gotta save it real quick. There we go. I think it's because I hit capitals before. And then you can just combine it with whatever tools you want. Like, got Kenon's pitch writer here, for example. Dang it, why isn't it responding? Oh, there we go. So you can use tricks like that to make it sound even better, because you can still technically tune on this. You just need to make sure that it's mod zero at all times, or else um, it will not sound good. And it's not responding again. There we go, now it's working. So this, we'll just do this little mini bit here. So you can see it even sounds even better. So basically just do things like that and you are set basically. Um, like I said, just make sure that it's mod zero when you enter it in, otherwise it will sound iffy. This includes anything that's converting, like, if you get a UST converted from a synth feed program, um, it will also get that iffy part. 
I think the iffy part depends on how many pitch bends are in the original. The more pitch bends there are, the more likely it will be goofed up. And that is because Utao's tuning software does not really like um, Vocaloids and Synthbee's tuning software, and so both sound awful nonetheless. Um, and if you're wondering any USTs used in Synthbee from this method, will just sound it cut off again, except I don't know exactly what went wrong, but basically any USTs uh, opened in Synthbee will work just fine, basically. And that's it. Yeah.